Hey, um, can I buy you a drink? No thanks, I already have one. Yeah, you see, I, I realized your um, your dates is a no-show. That's why I came to ask. Okay, so can I really buy you a drink, please? No. Look, <laughs> I just lost my three-year relationship. All right. And instead of wallowing in pain and sorrow, <laughs> thinking of what could have been and what couldn't have, I've decided, and I'm inviting you to have fun with me. Huh? At least, even if it's for just today. Huh? Come on, please. Okay, um, on one condition. Name it. You have to move over here. Let me get my beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's fine. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'm Teddy. Ify. This is crazy. <laughs> so how many bottles have you had? I mean, I counted three. Well, you did? Yeah. So you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. <laughs> nice sensation. Thank you. Thank you. And you have a good blush. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You're cute. Oh, I want to tell you. <laughs> yeah. How crazy is your crazy? Scale uh, of 1 to 10. 10 over 10. You're 10 over 10 crazy. Really? I'm going to test that. I should. Really? That's a ten over ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, do you want to go somewhere private? Yeah. So I'll just get your back. <laughs> so do you want me to get it now? Mm -hmm. I should get it now. Yeah. All right. So let's go. Okay. I... Oh, pay. Oh, you yeah. see. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here, Aisha? Baby, I'm sorry. I can explain. Don't you dare touch me. I can explain. Don't you? I don't need your explanation. Wait, don't you have any appointments with those your chiefs? Or those people you go to service? Babe, I can explain. I did this for us. Don't you dare give me that bullshit, Aisha. I never asked for your help. 
I never did then and I don't need it now. Okay? I'm not jobless and you know it. Yeah, things might have been bad, but I mean, it was definitely just for a short period. So yeah, they're better now, but I'm sure you are still doing those your little business, aren't you? No, I swear I gave it up. I, I'm not into that. I, I don't do that anymore, well, well, please. Why, why, why are you giving it up in the first place? I mean, you didn't, you, you, you did it for me? Oh, come on now. You didn't ask my permission when you started it. So what do you mean? Why do you want my permission to stop? Why are you stopping on my own account? No, you should go on. I mean, you did it so you could have afford to fund your, your luxurious lifestyle, your expensive lifestyle and the parties. So why, why? See, I can explain. I did this for us. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even start it. Like, it's for oh, us. Wow. I did it for us. Now, this is so absurd. So you mean to tell me you came all the way here just to manipulate me into believing it was all my fault? Come on, that's very low of you. But do you know I was actually going to propose to you and ask you to move in with me while we were preparing for our wedding? I thank God. I thank God I... I was saved before I got embarrassed. You don't talk like this, I can explain. What do you want I'm, to explain? I'm not, like, I'm, not, I'm not into that anymore, please. Sorry. Just give me another chance. Oh, you shall get out. Please. Teddy, please. Get out. I can explain. I don't want to push you. Get out. Please. Teddy, please. People, people will see you. Teddy, Teddy, get out. Teddy, Teddy please. Go. Please, I'm sorry. Go. For us. And Teddy, get out and please. stay out. I'm sorry. Stay out. Please. I love you. Just give me another chance. Hey, babes. What's up with you? Why is your face like this? Hey! What is it? I don't fuck off. What the hell did I just do? What are you beating yourself up about? What happened? I don't know, you understand. What did you do, Ifoma? Tell me. I fuck up. If I'm what is this about? Talk to me. Wait, it is all your fault. My fault? Yes, this is all your fault. What did I do? Your entire speech on forbidding fruits shit. <laughs> do you know what that thing has cost me? <laughs> oh it my has messed God. me up real bad. Oh, everything is, is always fault. But I mean, if you ate the forbidden fruits, you should be celebrating. What? <laughs> celebrating what exactly? Yes, girl. That I cheated on my boyfriend. Uh -huh, big. Now, I cheated, eh? cheated, no kill person. Eh, 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 and that's not my kind of person. Huh? Babe. I feel so bad. Are you expecting me to celebrate? For what? Calm down. Guys cheat all the time. Well, I'm not all guys. I'm not guys. God forbid, I will never do it again. It will never happen. It will never happen. Again. Really? I will never make such a mistake again. <laughs> if only you make you laugh. Okay, so how was it? Tell me. Mm? Do you enjoy it? Enjoy what? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about something. You're telling me how. You don't know my conscience is judging me right now. My conscience is judging me. That what? That you cheated? What? That is not a big deal. Oh, I don't blame you. It's your way. It's your way, so it's nothing. Oh, please, babe, calm down. You just cheated. Uh, you're not cute person. I just cheat you cheat. So tell me, how was it? Did you enjoy it? Enjoy what? I'm telling you that I cheated on somebody. My conscience is judging me. and telling me that I enjoy what? Did you enjoy what? What do you want me to tell you? Zoe. What? Come on. Uh -uh. You know him too where He has never cheated on me. He has been nothing. He has been nothing but faithful. Yeah. But look at me now. Just because of small courage, I just went out and cheated on him. I cheated on him because he, he, because I was mad at him. It's, it doesn't all make sense. And now you're telling me it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, you're crazy. You. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy, friend. So tell me, how was it? Tell me everything. I want the full gist. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Did I like it? Did I enjoy it? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling guilty about what I've done. And you're telling me nonsense. I want to hear all I'm the I'm not There's nothing. No gist. No. If I'm give me the raunchy details. How was that? <laughs> how Wait, did you? See, this one you're running your mouth. You better don't tell a single soul about this. Mm. Don't tell anybody. Oh. Lip sealed, baby. Lip sealed. Trust me now. I don't trust you. 
I don't trust me. Okay, fine. I won't say a word to anybody, okay? But first of all, tell me how was it? How was that? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, just leave me. I don't have time for you this. Actually, is that the so you won't just, I'm not the gist you anything. What's going happen? Eh, hey, oh yeah, now. I'll go do my own. No worry. What is happening here? What was all this on? Why, 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 why are they sending me this? What, what, what's that? Uh, rejection, okay. Do you remember that, that overseas company I told you about? Yes, for that the I job. Applied? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So I sent them an email and then I've been waiting since. Okay. I didn't get a response, so I decided to, to reach out to them. Right. And then, and I just got a mail from them saying that I already sent a rejection mail to them saying I'm no longer interested. How is that? Something that I've been... I've been praying for all my life. Exactly. You know, now this is the, 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 the dream job. My, my dream job I've been praying for. Looking forward to so this. So how did I reject it? How? Tell me, how? Wait, how did they send me this mail now? Are you sure you didn't send the mail and forgot that you sent that? When I'm not mad. Something I'm always praying day and night for. No, these people, they just want to, they just want to, they just want to reject me. This is the, this is the, the, the way to reject somebody. They don't want me in their company. That's why. There's or no way. Maybe someone that has access to your phone sent the rejection mail. Someone like your controlling boyfriend, Ethan. I mean, we're supposed to hide this from him. Because you know he wouldn't approve. But what happened? Mm -mm. Nah, can't be him. He doesn't have my... Holy shit. For ma. Ah. Holy shit. He's the only one that has access to my phone. For ma. Oh shit! No, no way. He cannot do that. He will never try that. I uh -uh. can't do that, man. Let me call him. Why do trust man? Let me call him. Trust no, men why would at you your peril. Oh. Oh. It's irrelevant. Don't worry. I have something important to ask you. Did you by any chance? Check my email or mistakenly send a mail to somebody, to a company, an overseas company. I don't understand. What do you mean by all that? Tell me, did you? Please tell me you didn't. What surprise are you talking about? What surprise? Did I ask you? Did I send you a message? Why did you help me now? What's all this? See, don't you ever in your life call me again. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Did I send you? No, can you listen to yourself? Do you know how long I have been chasing that, that, that opportunity? Do, do you know? That is my dream job. My dream job. My dream job. My dream job. See, if you ever call me again, eh, I will swear for you. Just lose my number. Don't call me. Oh, don't call me if you don't want. So he rejected that man. That guy is so sick. What kind of controlling boyfriend is this? You know what? I'm so glad you cheated on him. Oh, you please stop it. I said it was a mistake. Ah. Okay, sorry. Sorry. <sighs> So sorry, dear. Oh God, what kind of what kind of bad belay is this one? What kind of bad belay is this one? What in the name of boyfriend? Eh? Why would you do such now? <sighs> Did I send him? Sorry. Hey, why don't you tell me about yesterday? So he can cheer you up a bit. I bet you leave me alone. I'm talking about something. <laughs> See, please. About please what? I bet leave me alone. I'm upset. Just tell me now. I want to hear it. Please. Please. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'll take my kiss back. Take it back. I don't want it. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you. Me. I'll tell you. Like this, I'm a book. I like this. Mm. So, um, oh God, I'm upset. But calm down. Calm down, if you. So, remember, um, I went out on a date with Ethan. Uh, so I got there. He was not there. I was. 
busy waiting for him. Mm -hmm. Oga did not show up on time. Mm. I was still waiting. Oh. Hmm. That was how I sighted this fine-looking, yummicious oh my God. guy. Oh my God. He was just there, sitting down, looking, mm. and our eyes met. Oh. <clears throat> And I was like, hmm, this guy is fine, shall we? I know. But your guy has plenty of things going in his head. So we just got talking and talking. We clicked. Mm -hmm. And... God bless him. <laughs> <laughs> this oh guy hmm. was looking at me like he was going to eat me up. I know. Like I was something. I don't know if he was seeing me like one turkey or chicken or something. <laughs> It just didn't look my eye, eye but eye but just look, he was just smiling and blushing at me too. So I was like, ooh, wait. Oh Did I tell you it smelled so good? It does. I oh. love a guy that smells heavily. Oh Jesus, it smells oh heavily. Oh my god, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh the boy is fine. Boy, See, fine. Him. Ah, his lips are so yummy. Oh the pinky. I, and I was just carried away. My friend Drew. I just want to kiss this guy. I don't know if it's oh. the alcohol or something. I should just want to do something. I think it was the alcohol that was it's making us vibe like it's that. It's definitely the alcohol. Yeah. Definitely. So what happened next? Tell me about the sex, 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 sex. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know what, what I'm talking about. Which I kissed. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know when I locked lips with him. Mm -hmm. Like, Mmm. Soft. Wait, Apple, you did, yeah. Now you don't, I you don't spoke. Come on for you. I didn't imagine that. Uh -uh. Soft lips. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Carry on. Carry on. I don't finish. On. Just has finished. Uh -uh. You, didn't, you didn't mention the sex part. I'm not talking about it. I was going Why? to hear. They. They. No part. There was no part. Is it good at it? No, no. Tell me. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! The video was good! I'm so happy for you! Oh. Okay, no, no, no. That's enough. I'm, I'm angry. Look at this one. I beg you! <laughs> Babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. I've apologized to you so many times. Do you want me to speak it in French? I can't speak French. Why are you apologizing? What for? Okay. I should have allowed you rejected by yourself. It was your decision, solely your decision, to either reject the job or take it. But I just wanted you here with me. But I got you a gift. I know it's small. It's not enough. But I thought I could just make amends. Amends? You sabotaged my future. And you think apologizing to me with a gift will do the trick? Huh? What about my dream job? Hmm? What are you going to do with it? What? I lost that to you, Linda. I will make it up to you, okay? I'm sorry. I'm deeply, deeply sorry. Just go, please. Just go. Mm -hmm. Yes, go. I don't have anything to say to you, just go. I'm sorry. Leave. Now with this, I can't lose this one too. Use the door when you're done. Good evening. Please, I'm here. Please, I'm here to see Zoe. Oh, okay. Please, um, she's not be picking my calls, and I'm here for urgent business. Okay, that's fine. Come in, come in, please. Thank come. you. Let me go get her for you. Okay. Zoe. 
Zoe! Yeah! Come, someone is here to see you. Thank you. Sarah's looking for me. Oh my god! You shameless, shameless woman! Come here! So, so, that's how you go around snatching people's husbands. Idiot. What's going on here? Now, madam, I thought you said you came for business. This lady, this woman here, she's a husband snatcher. I am not a husband snatcher, okay? That's who you are. Is it my fault that your husband loves me? Look at this small girl. Take a look at me. Idiot. Sleeping with a man old enough to be your father? Not old enough to be your father too! Touch me! Jesus Christ! Isabel! 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 He loves me. <laughs> he loves me. Fight, you cannot fight. What's this one? <laughs> the, why are you doing like one that they put salt on? Oh, look at You let her in here? Why would I let her in? Did I do How am I supposed to know that she's here to fight you? How am I supposed to know you're sleeping with married men? Eh? I'm so snatching that man. I'm so snatching him. Don't watch my boy all star. Don't worry, be there. And then. Let me take your back. Oh, if you I need food, I need water. Oh, no. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, you. How are you? I... Look, I'm sorry about the other time, okay? I hope I didn't complicate things between you and your boyfriend. Nope, you didn't. Wow, so bad. I was hoping I did. <laughs> uh, so how do you feel? You mentioned the other time that... Uh, you might feel guilty if anything happened between the both of us. Ah. <laughs> okay, uh, you know you shouldn't have left me the way you did. I mean, I could have ordered you breakfast, even served you breakfast in bed. You know I'm a gentleman. Yeah, I know. I know you are. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Will I see you again? You want to see me again? Yes. As a matter of fact, I'll be honored. Okay, sure. Since you're desperate to see me. Yeah, we'll see. Perfect. You know, the truth is, your boyfriend might have to find another woman. Because I think I found my soulmate. <laughs> yeah. You can, I can't just get you out of my head. Okay? You've imprinted yourself on my heart. Look, you know I've forgotten about my ex completely. Like, you're one kind of a woman. <laughs> Can you please stop flattering me? Uh, no, I don't flatter. I don't. Okay, I just give genuine compliments. Okay, so if I tell you I like you, I'm crazy about you. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Jeez! Oh gosh, you started me. Stop. Hi, beautiful. I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. Um, I didn't want to interrupt your phone call. What call? I thought you were on a call. Oh no, I, I, I wasn't on the call. I was, I was just talking to myself. Are you sure? Mhm. Mm okay. Um. Well, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry about the other day. It will never happen again. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> uh, I would like that happen again. Trust me. Mm. Okay. So, um, 
I've been meaning to ask, what do you think about marriage? Are you asking me? Well, I know we've talked about this, but I just want to know your take on it. <clears throat> well, marriage is a beautiful thing. But trust me, I'm not desperate to get married. At 30. So? Is there something wrong with that? Absolutely, there's nothing wrong with it, but... <laughs> I just, I find it strange. Well, I... I will get married at the right time because I don't want someone telling me what do you have to bring on the table. Nah. So until I'm financially grounded, then I will think about marriage. For a lady in her thirties. What's up with you? Um, are you here to piss me off? No, no. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> so, what about children? Do you want to have children? Oh, not again. What's up? Why are, you, why, why are you asking me all these questions? Why? What? I, I just want to know. I mean... You've, you've asked me before and I... Fine. Yes, I want kids. Okay. Was that so hard? Yes, I want kids. See, it's, 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 it's enough. Um, are you hungry? Do you want noodles? Okay, I'm talking to you now. Okay, fine. Go get me noodles. Go get me noodles. Okay, hold on. Let me say it this way. Before mom. I know you're not ready. I mean, you've said it so many times. But I am ready. I'm ready to be your husband. And sincerely, that's all that matters. I promise you. You wouldn't even know you're married. That's how easy I intend to make it for you. I'm going to take care of you for the rest of your life. And you don't even need to bring anything to the table. You know why? Because you are the table, my baby. You are. And that's why I'm asking you, please, Ifama, will you do me the favor, the honor of being my wife? Say yes, say yes. No. No. <gasps> Sorry. Excuse me. Hey, why? You, you, you don't like the ring? I can get another one. What, what's wrong? This... This thing... It won't work. So is this, is it because of that little chump that has been calling your phone? The one you've been seeing? You knew? Yes, I knew! I'm sorry. Ifoma, have you been sleeping with him? Doesn't matter. Ifoma, I ask you a question and you should answer me have you been sleeping with him? Answer that question! Yes! 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 I slept with him! That was because I was going to break up with you. What?
you ignored me. Every time I talk to you, you don't listen to me. You just ignore me, ignore everything I say and just do you. Your command is the highest author. You want everything done your way. Guess what, Boo Boo? This is supposed to be about partnership and not military training. Where you get to order me around like, like I'm your slave or something. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. I'm done. It's over. It can't be over. Read my lips. It cannot be over. What are you saying? Okay, fine. Fine, look. We are perfect. We are the perfect power couple. What are you talking about? What? Perfect? No. No, we were not even close. There was nothing perfect about us. Nothing. Okay, listen to me. All right, we don't have to be perfect, right? Marriage is all about two imperfect people coming together and everything is perfect. Love itself is imperfect. Okay, we can fix this. No, 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 no. We can't fix this. We, we can't fix us. You can't fix what is already broken. Okay? Alema, come back here. You see? Alema! You see? Command, command. Oh! Yes, hello? Am I speaking to the house agent? Yes, please, I'm the one looking for an apartment. What do you mean by my budget is too small? So you're trying to tell me I can't get an apartment to fit in that budget? A shared what? A shared apartment? No, I can't take a shared apartment, I don't. Okay, send me a picture right now. Don't worry about it. I'm using the Wi-Fi. Send me a picture. Okay. Well, I hope the occupant is nice. Okay. Well, I can manage that. But I need to see it. All right. Thank you. <sighs> Shared apartment. Shared apartment. Well, it's manageable for now. Yeah, I'm coming. Come in. So nice to finally meet you in person. Yeah. Nice to meet you too, uh, Teddy, right? Yes, 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 yes. So I'm guessing we're going to be roommates. Sorry, housemates. Yeah, housemates. So what do you do? Tech, you? Tech, that's wonderful. I, I work with finance. I work with Financial Times. Actually, I'm a stockbroker. You look it. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> yes. So I know the agent already sent you pictures, but I could give you a tour if you want. I wouldn't say no to a tour. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, beautiful furniture set. 
So, um, did you put this in place or you found it here when you came to the apartment? Oh no, the, everything here was already here before I moved in. For real? Yeah. Oh, you didn't yeah. lie when they said furnished apartment. Fully okay. furnished, bro. <laughs> I'm guessing my room is furnished. Right? Yeah, fully furnished. Oh, that's a good thing. I'll just bring my bags when I'm coming. Yeah, sure. Dining set, yeah? Yes. Yeah, better. Madam, what is it? So you're going to act like nothing happened. Hmm? See, you know what? We need to talk. We need to talk about what happened the last time. So what is all this? What is this now? Why are you bringing trouble into my house? When are you going to change? Yes, when are you going to change? Madam, just leave me alone. You're disturbing me. Never. I will not leave you alone. I will not leave you alone until you change. So you're going to sit down there and pretend like the incident that happened the last time didn't happen. It wasn't life-threatening for you. Okay, what did you do? She said, do you want to just kill you like that and nothing will happen? But wait, let me tell you. There's something about an angry wife. And trust me, you do not want to mess with them. Hmm? They are very dangerous. She knows that if he beat you with acid, mm. you know if you do anything. Mm. If he just kill you, they'll find you like that. You don't know? Not today. Ah, okay. Mm. It's no longer your boss, so it is now your father's business partners. Auntie. And to be coming down. Eh? Why are you going with all this? Why can't you just sit down in place? And respect yourself. Must you be jumping from one place to another? Come, oh, we're not kids again, no. We're not kids anymore. You've all, you've you've had grown this rubbish now. What is this? Madam, it's okay. Eh? What is it? I'm not a child, so stop it. Uh uh. You don't talk your own. I don't hear you. I've I've understood you clearly. Mm -hmm. So stop nagging me, I beg. After all, you're the one to be blamed. You opened the door for eh, her to let her eh, in. Eh, 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 eh. Just hold it there. Blamed how? See, madam, please stop bringing trouble into my house. I don't like it. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm not safe again now. What is all this all? You're jeopardizing my safety. Mm. Only you come. Can you be while I come here? For what? Okay, know? see what happened the last time. Do you know just pushed me? Did I do anything wrong to her? No. But because I was trying to help you people. To stop bringing trouble in my house. I don't like it. That's why they'll just come one day and break my head. Innocent me. Anyway, my your house now. I don't hear you. Like I said, I'm only here temporarily. I will soon go back to my house. But in the meantime, I'm paying you rent, so don't disturb me, I beg. Free me! Free me! What's in the sop? Ah! I'm not going to pursue you. I just say you should change. Can change. I watch my movie now? Watch, oh, watch. But just change. Don't bring trouble into my house. It's okay. For so my, it's just okay. Come break my head. For nothing. Are we going to talk about your breakup? How brutal you were? Or should I shut up my mouth and mind my business? Shut up and mind your business. <laughs> Ify! You know we'll still talk about that, right? We'll still gist about yes, that. Yes. My girl, you're still my girl for life! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Relax, relax, relax. I told you there is no way. No way PSG is beating Chelsea on this one. No way. Bro, just wait now. You will shock the very soon. Uh, uh. Go! <laughs> I told you. Beautiful goal. 
What, what was even giving you that that you know ginger to feel like you guys were going to win? You can't win. Bro, Chelsea and um, PSG are the mates. It's PSG not better. What are you saying? What kind of question what are you is saying? that? Because you guys have managed to score. Blues for life. Okay, we'll see. Then we will show within this one. I'm telling you. This will be the greatest comeback. You see. Which comeback? There's no comeback from this one. No, just I'm very sure. Left. You're very sure. God. No go die. You guys are just lucky. <laughs> Alpha, is this still going to be a comeback? Hey, sweetie. So, um, I was thinking it's been over a month since our last date. So, I, I thought we could, um, I thought I should actually ask you out, at least for another one, to make up for the last time. Yeah, but you had fun, didn't you? Yeah. You know, this one will be more fun, I promise. I was thinking lunch, then maybe we could do a movie afterwards. Perfect. Yeah. So, how is your four o'clock tomorrow? Okay. Okay, so cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'll be cooking. Yes, you don't want to miss it. Alright, so I'll see you then. Bye. This is embarrassing. There you go. <laughs> I read your message though. Yeah, I did yours as well. Mm. <laughs> that girl do. Is, is that the lady who came to cook for us the other day? Who? My woman. Oh, well, that's your woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. She's the same person, you know. Wow. Oh. She's an amazing person. I, <laughs> she makes me really happy, you know. Mm. Was that yours? Oh, so. uh, yeah. We just started dating anyway. Um, still getting the hang of the whole thing. Oh. Yeah. No, we don't have what you have, though. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah. I know you might seem as if I and my girl are in so much love, but trust me, <laughs> we've not dated for too long. Honestly, just... No freaking months. way. Yeah, sure. You know, one could assume that the both of you have been in a relationship for years. Ah, oh, come on. That's because we love each other so much. You know? Wow. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well, you know... um. I used to have something like that. Really? Yeah. We did it for five years. Who oh, I love. And then one day she cheated. 
Oh. To make matters worse, she eloped with the guy, the new guy. Wow. Yeah. Well, sorry about that. No, it's fine. <laughs> well, I we had something similar, you know, an experience like that with my ex as well. You did? Yeah. But she didn't really, you know, um, she stood by me through thick and thin, you know, but, but it didn't work out. I also proposed, you know. I was going to propose, actually. I, I didn't. I mean, the good guys never get the good girls, huh? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I fell in love with my girl after a one night stand. No. <laughs> oh, no, I. <laughs> boy, boy, I hate one night stands. I, oh. You do? Yeah, they, they ruin people's relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I can't complain. I mean, I met my soulmate through one. But I'm sorry about your experience. No, of course, you don't need to be sorry, man. <laughs> you don't. You don't need to be sorry. It has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know, we could um, maybe invite them over. You know. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Introduce them. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And even cook for them. They will love that. They will love they that. Will love they that. will love that. Yeah. yeah. They'll be impressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hashtag he can cook. He can cook. <laughs> yeah, brothers, man. Brothers for life. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs>
Wait, you, you both know each other too? Of course, she probably has the answer to everything going on here. Well, he's my ex. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Uh, and, and, and so, who, who is he to you? My boyfriend. Um, uh, well, she's my girlfriend. Yeah, she's my girlfriend too, as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you mean to tell me now that Ethan is the ex you told me about? The one who broke up with you because of me. Exactly. Oh. That's interesting. Is this a coincidence or is it fate? I don't know. And you? How about you tell me what Aisha is doing here? I don't know. I didn't understand the explanation she was giving. She was just denying everything. As if she didn't know this place, like she couldn't recognize it when she walked in. You know, I I have a feeling she approached Ethan just to get back at me. You think so? Yes. Anyways, I, I, I will try to have a conversation with Ethan. A heart to heart, man to man conversation. Because the last time we spoke, it sounded like he still had some real feelings for his ex. Really? Yeah. And also, I'll have to talk to Aisha as well. You know, I just need to be sure she's not with Ethan just because she wants to get back at me. I need to talk to Ethan as well. Yeah. You know, just get home, okay? We'll sort this later, okay? Sure. Yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, one more thing. Look, I know you tend to worry a lot. Mm -hmm. But I don't want you to think about this at all. Alright? Okay. Just let me handle it. Sure. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Are you going to give it to me? No. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Uh, I'll just see you. Uh. We cannot be with each other's exes. You have to break up with Ifoma. Then I will break up with Aisha. Oh no. Bro, please don't break up with Aisha because of me. Because I'm not going to break up with you for my because of you. I mean, we're not that close, bro. So the bro code really does not apply here. We're just housemates. So you were saying that you don't have any problem at all? It doesn't bother you? Nah, not at all. It doesn't. Mm. Yeah. Mm. How did you guys meet again? Um, we uh, met on a date. Yeah. On a date? Yeah, that's all. Look, but really, uh, you don't have to break up with Aisha because of me. Yeah. No, no, this is not possible. <laughs> no, <clears throat> it's too complicated. Yes, I, I might just have to break up with Aisha. No, bro, look, I'm really good because I'm really not going to break up with you for my because of you, right? No, no, I, I don't have a problem with you. You can date Ifoma, of course. Ifoma is my ex, and what we had was a thing of the past, I mean. Really? But bro, look, man. Let's... I really want you to go on and enjoy my Aisha, right? It really doesn't bother me, right? Mm -hmm. I just really wish we can we'll just go on with this thing and everyone will be happy about it, you know? Like, you happy right. with Aisha and me with Ifoma, you know? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay then. Cool. cool. So now that that is all said, what are we going to do with all the food in the kitchen? We'll just have to eat it ourselves. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. True. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you're good, right? You haven't told me what happened. You came back early today. What happened with your date? 
Didn't things go well? It didn't go well, babe. It didn't go well at all. It was one of the worst days of my life. What? What happened? Ah. Hmm. You won't believe it. You won't believe it at all. What? Ethan was there. Your Ethan? Mm hmm. Oh my God. What? How? Wait, did he stalk you and follow you there? Because that sounds exciting. No. It was just a coincidence. They live together, actually. Or should I say no? They are flatmates. Yes. Wow. Why is this town so small? My dear, I don't understand. Hmm. Guess what? What? Teddy's ex was there as well. No way. Yes, way. Teddy's ex was... Wait, is this supposed to be like a double date or something? Yep. Oh my goodness! You guys are dating each other's exes. Whoa, that is so wild. No. <laughs> Whoa. Auntie. That's sick. Huh? It's not funny. What? It's not funny at all. <laughs> it's kind not of, funny. It's kind because of funny. Teddy <laughs> and Ethan are now talking. Who knows what Ethan might be telling him? I don't trust that guy one bit. Uh, I don't. Calm down. He can't tell Teddy anything. I mean, you don't worry yourself too much. Are you sure? I don't think he can tell him anything. Don't worry, you're not getting dumped anytime soon. I mean, I mean, it's Teddy and you. You guys are literally on the call every minute. He's crazy about you, right? I mean, he loves you, so he can't even do anything stupid. Besides, have you seen yourself? You're a catch from head to toe. You're a speck, baby. Yeah. And even if he decides to dump you, there are other fishes in the sea, so whatever. Huh? Calm down. I'm scared because I don't know what Ethan might be telling him. I'm really he won't scared. tell him anything. Don't be scared, okay? Ethan is not that stupid. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I will trust you on this one. You know me. I give the best advice. <laughs> Cheer up, okay? Are you sure he's not going to say anything? Uh -uh, I won't. Oh, I won't. Sorry. You want something to drink? Eat? Anything? No. I, I'm so sorry. I, sorry I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, it's not a problem. We're really naughty like that, so mm. don't mind us. Yeah. And I'm good at what I do. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not bothered at all. <laughs> um, please, can I have a chat with you? Okay. Upstairs. Yeah. Um, um, so I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for letting me have this moment. I know it's not been long we broke up. They're still fresh and all, but thank you. It's fine. I mean, at the end of the day, are you happy? Yes, I am. Absolutely. It makes me happy. I see. Great. And you? She's stunning. Oh. Actually, we haven't been together for long, but it looks promising. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I need to go look for my man. Yeah. All right. Have fun. Bye. See ya. What does she want after stealing my man? 
Aisha, let me ask you a question. Do you even love me? Because it looks like you're using me to get back at Teddy. What? Come on, baby, now I'm done. See, I care about you. Hello? Yes, um, so can I get another house? No, it's not about the house. I just find something disturbing about this Teddy guy. So you're trying to tell me that I can't move out onto my rent expires? Is that what you're saying? No problem, I, I will look for someone else, all right? In the meantime, just be looking for better houses for me, okay? Probably this time I don't want a shared apartment. Hungry. Me! Well, Chef Teddy to the rescue! Yay! <laughs> mm. Oh, babe, I mm. cooked this with so much love. Mm. I swear to God, you're going to enjoy it. Mm, I, I promise smell you. it already. It yes! So like, I, I want to choke you with love, mm. right? All the love in my heart, I poured it inside. Wow. Like, straight from so my heart. So nice. Looks yeah. nice already. Yeah. I bet there's no egg. You cook without egg? Do have it. <laughs> well, it's just for the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> special noodles yeah, made come on. by Chef Teddy. Beauty. Yeah. Awesome. See how sweet it is. Mm -hmm. I want to show you without egg, I can still make magic. Yeah. What is it? What is it? What? <laughs> What could be inside the food that's making you this agitated? What's that? <clears throat> what is it? <sighs> Babe, you know what? Please, I beg you. Leave the cooking for me. Don't cook. Don't cook again. I'll do the cooking, okay? But, but I didn't put much pepper in this now. What was that? Ah, pepper. I just put very little pepper, babe. Mm, mm. Hold on. Ah. Just hold on, hold on. Come on, to this. Let me see what this is like. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. 
I swear I didn't cook this. No, 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 for real, I didn't cook this. No, but believe me, I didn't cook it. I believe you, you didn't cook it. No, 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 like seriously, something happened. I didn't do this. I couldn't have put this much pepper in this. Hold on, it's important. We need mm -hmm. to do. Babe, do you know how long it has been since I got to touch you? Okay, I've not been able to touch you without those guys interrupting us. Alright, so please. I know. Mm. But wait, wait. We'll continue after we finish mm -hmm. talking, please. No, please. I have a son. I have a son. What? I said I have a son. I'm a mother. Wow. Okay. Um, that's surprising. I, I know. I've been trying to tell you, but I didn't know the right time to tell you. And I wanted to be sure that you were here to stay. Um, wait, so how old is he? He's five years old. His name is Samuel. What? Oh, well, you have a son that's five years? And I'm just knowing about it. I know, and, and I'm sorry. You know, anything you decide, it's fine by me. Wait, so, why are you just telling me this now? Because... Because I know we are getting very serious. And that's why I want to know if that's going to be a deal breaker for you. Hmm. Please, can, can you just say something, please? I'm, I'm getting nervous. You're making me nervous. Can you just talk? Do you think you'll like me? Uh, sorry, it, what, what, um, <clears throat> Wait, like, I will need his permission to if I'm going to be with you. Uh, I've never had a kid before, so I don't know anything about children. Wow. You're not... Of, of course, of course, it's, of course he, he will love you. Yes. Okay, cool. Just that? Yeah. Really? Of course. You're not mad? Like, babe, I love everything about you. Everything. And I'm glad you told me. Okay, it just shows me we're ready to move on to the next stage. Thank you so much. You're such an amazing person. Thank you for accepting all my packages. It's okay. All right, you're not alone. And when do I get to meet him? You can't. He's with my mom. Okay, but you need to arrange a meeting, okay? Yeah, probably. Um, that's if we are very, very serious. Okay, so let's do that. Do what? Be very, very serious. Are you for real? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are... An amazing man. I know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is it? Um, I need you to come help me sort out something inside. Well, can't you wait? Uh, no, it can't. Whatever you're doing can wait. Actually, just come help me. Thank you. I'm this close to losing it. I'll be right back. What's up? You said you wanted to talk. 
About what? Oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> it was um, it was about a work issue, but you know, I sorted it out. Well, I also want to talk to you. Oh well, <clears throat> you have my undivided attention. Well, I wanted to tell you that I really, really love Ify. And our relationship matters the world to me. I can't see my future without her in it. Oh, that's it? <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't see how that information is of importance to me right now. Well, I'm planning to propose to her. Well, I, I love her and I want to take things to the next level. I just feel like I owe it to you to inform you and uh, maybe seek your permission and blessings, you know, considering your history with her. Oh, yeah. Uh, of course, um, I mean, uh, you don't need my permission to, to get married to Aisha. Sorry, if, if I'm, uh, if, yeah, if I'm alright, she's, 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 she's a very, very nice girl, right? Of course I shouldn't be telling you, you, you know, you know that already, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm so, um, <laughs> of course, yes, you can, you can go ahead, you can, really? yes, you can go ahead, you um, can, yeah. Cool. Mm. And I also wanted to tell you that I'll be moving out soon. So you need a new roommate. Okay, okay. And you, you probably start looking for a new housemate. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, I'm guessing you're you're moving into a new apartment with with Ify, right? Yeah. All right. Until I start planning the wedding. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean, which is good. I mean, it's good. It's yeah. good. It's good. Very, yeah. very, very good. Very good. Yeah. So. Um, all right, just just let me know whenever you're ready. All right, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, so I'll be going upstairs. Mm. All right. Yeah, you better go upstairs before I stab you. So, were you saying something? I know. I was just thinking aloud, and uh, so. All right. All right. Oh, what the hell? What are, you, what are you doing here? Oh, so you no longer like it when I touch you? Jesus Christ, Aisha, what are you saying? We are done. Done? Teddy, are you going to three, three good years of our life? Three good years. For what? Teddy, I loved you. And I still do. And I just need you to give me another chance. We can sort this out. You see, how can you say that? Three years of not knowing you? Is that what you're talking about? We are done, Aisha. No. Teddy, you cannot just say we're done like that. Look, all those things I did, I did for you. Do you think I like them? Hmm? And now you're going to leave me because of that whore. Are you going to go and get married to her? What did she ever do for you? Don't you ever in your damn life call Ifo my whore again. She's ten times, hundred times better than you are and will ever be in your life. Teddy, don't do this. Please. Look, once you get married to Ifo, there is no going back. I 
still love you, Teddy. Don't you, don't you get it? Don't you see it? What? Oh. Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, no. Now I get it. Oh, shit. So you got close to Ethan just to get to me? Huh? So this whole thing, the kissing, the cuddling, it was all just a game to you? Aisha, it just makes you despicable. Teddy, please, don't do this. Don't you see, I love you, I still do, and I'm willing to do anything for you. I am ready to do anything. Just say it, I'll do anything for you, but please don't, don't marry for my please. We can get back what we had. We can try. If you knew one thing about love, you will know it can never be forced. Everyone is just a pawn to you. A pawn you can just move anywhere you like, place it anywhere you do. In, in, your, in your sick game. Get this into your thick skull. Aisha, we are done. Okay, I have found my soulmate. So please, will you stand up and get out of my room? Alright, get out and never come back. Get out of my life. Whatever. Can do whatever it is you please. What does she have that I don't have? Just get out. Suit yourself. What? Aisha, what was that about? Calm down. Why are you yelling? Don't tell me to calm down. I said, what the hell were you trying to do in Teddy's room? And what is it that I did that you haven't done before, Ethan? What are you talking about? Oh, please shut it. Did you think I wouldn't notice? Huh? Did you think I wouldn't notice how you would try to keep those two apart with every excuse that you get? Or did you think I wouldn't notice how you always stare at her when you think no one is looking? Oh, hell. It's not like I was even there in the first place. I mean, even though that you were in such a rush to get over her, I'm sure you wouldn't pay me any attention. Aisha, I am seconds away from losing my temper if you don't shut the hell up. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you dare yell at me! Don't do that! I mean, are you good blind? I mean, what is wrong with you people? That girl has you both wrapped around her pretty little finger and none of you are seeing it! Even I am confused because the both of you are just idiots. Idiot! That's what you are! And then what are you? Hmm? The desperate one? Or you think I don't know that you used me to get access to Teddy? Right now? You were trying to sleep with him. Knowing fully well that I am under this roof. You know what? I don't have the strength. Neither do I have the energy to deal with a common whore like you. So get whatever stuff you have in this house and leave. Fine. I'll leave. But before I do, please get rid of that engagement ring you wanted to give a former hypocrite. <laughs> Bloody hell! Okay, fine. Go get me noodles. Go get me noodles. Okay, hold on. Let me say it this way. If I'm on. I know you're not ready. I mean, you've said it so many times. But I am ready. I'm ready to be your husband. And sincerely, that's all that matters. I promise you. You wouldn't even know you're married. That's how easy I intend to make it for you. I'm going to take care of you for the rest of your life. And you don't even need to bring anything to the table. You know why? Because you are the table, my baby. You are. And that's why I'm asking you. Please, Ifoma. 
Will you do me the favor, the honor of being my wife? Say yes, say yes. No. No. I mean, what is wrong with you people? That girl has you bumped right around her pretty little finger and none of you are seeing it. Even I am confused because the both of you are just idiots. Idiot, that's what you are! And then what are you? Hmm? The desperate one? Or you think I don't know? But you used me to get access to Teddy. And right now, you were trying to sleep with him. Knowing fully well that I am under this roof. You know what? I don't have the strength, neither do I have the energy to deal with a common whore like you. So get whatever stuff you have in this house and leave. Fine. I'll leave. But before I do, Please, get rid of that engagement ring you wanted to give a former hypocrite. Bloody hell! Babe, it's Daddy. Okay. Just go, just go, okay? I'm not running away. What is it? I'm coming! Ah, my brother. How are you doing? Um I need to get a um, hair brush. Hairbrush? Yeah, yeah. I want to brush my hair. I was looking for mine and I couldn't find it. Sorry. Sorry for interrupting. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, my brother. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy. As I was just going down, I remember that I kept my own brush on top of the table. Then, you know, I don't, I, I don't think I'll be needing this one anymore. So you couldn't wait? <laughs> no, no, no. You know, when I borrow somebody's property, I like to return it. You see, unlike a lot of people, they take what's not theirs and they don't want to return. I, I like to return stuff, so there you go. Thank you very much for being generous.
Still watching the game, huh? Yeah. Mm, I see. If he's not around? Well, I thought she was going to spend the night. Jesus Christ, Ethan. Why are you asking? <laughs> what is wrong with asking? Why are you so paranoid? I'm just asking questions. And why? Why do you think I don't see what you're trying to do? Right? Look, let me tell you something. It won't work. You had your turn. You didn't marry her. Now it's my turn. All right? You have Aisha now, so leave me alone. Both of you should leave my relationship alone. I didn't marry her. I couldn't marry her. You think I don't know it is because of you she rejected my proposal? Or you think I don't know that you were the reason why we broke up? Look, I was trying to, like, I was just... Look, I don't give a solitary fuck what you were trying to do. All right? But brace up. Because all hell is about to let loose in that relationship of yours. <laughs> the most ridiculous thing is you asking for permission to marry the love of my life. I mean, you could have been with any woman you want. But you chose the one that I wanted to get married to. Okay, fine. It was a coincidence. You never knew about it. But I told you, break up with her and you said no. And now because of your stupid games, I'm stuck with Aisha. Yes, and she, she's even using me trying to get back to you. So, does this all sum it up that you were the reason why we were both with this mess? No. No. <laughs> it's not my fault. Uh, your relationship already had issues way before I stepped into the scene. And we could have fixed it. Ah. And how did that go? I mean, fixing it. Hmm? Look. You had a reason why you, your relationship didn't work. You can pin it on me. Alright? It was your negligence that led me to the love of my life. So yes, if this is a game, I guess I won. You know, it is only foolishness that makes a man think he has won before the battle is ended. You think you've won? Do you have any card left to play? Victory, my friend, is the element of surprise. Brace up. It's going to be a long ride. And for the love of God, I hope you have enough gas. Stand back. You know, he can be a jerk sometimes. Yeah, I know. I'm so sorry about that, darling. You know, I actually noticed his attitude towards you, but I just pretended as if I didn't see anything. Yeah, me too. I mean, I tried to ignore him, but I had to go off on him today when he kept talking about how I came in between the both of you. He said so? Yeah. He was talking about how he was sure that I was the reason why you broke up with him. He does? Yeah, he does. He said he knows. And, you know, the guy must hate me. Nah. Somehow I feel like I should just move out of that house before he poisons me. Nah, nah, he's not that kind of person. You can't be sure. Because I know him too well. And guess what, babe? I love you. I don't hate you. I love you. And I'll be by your side, okay? Oh, you love me? Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I love you too. No, I love you more. <sighs> nah, I love you more. No, I love you more, 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 more. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so tell me, why do you love me? I mean, you never get to express your deep feelings for me, so tell mm -hmm. me, why? No particular reason. Babe, come on. I'm getting married in a few weeks. You can't tell me you love me for no particular reason. Why do you love me? 
I don't know what to say. Oh, come on. Just say something. Start anywhere. Babe, I don't have anything to say. I just know that I love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. See? That's it. Or oh, some things are just easy for you to say. Like, because you can just say, oh, I love you. If you can't tell me why you love me, I mean, I should probably just go. Babe, stop now. No, why you, you, can't, you can't tell me why you love me. No. Babe, this is transfer aggression. No, babe, stop now. What am I transferring? You can't just simply say, oh, this is why I love you. It's, it's weird. So, babe, you are going like that. Listen, I've got gist for you. I think I found the one. If are you okay? What happened? <sighs> hmm? I had a fight with Teddy. Oh, lovers fight. So what was this fight about this time? He asked me why I wanted to marry him. And I told him because I love him. Well, that's a good answer. He wanted more. He just kept on asking questions. Yeah. Men are like that sometimes, you know. They want you to reassure them that you love them until they're sure that you are completely theirs. You know, men seek validation from women just the same way women seek validation from men. You just have to learn to express yourself and, you know, tell him how you feel. Let him know how you feel when he's around you. Okay? I don't know, but we keep, we keep fighting. We fight a lot. Hmm. Well, in your last relationship, you didn't used to fight like that. So this is our upgrade. It shows that you guys love each other. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Just dress up and go and tell your man how you feel about him. Okay? Cheer up. <laughs> Cheer up. So I have juice for you, but that can wait till you get back, okay? In the meantime, I need to borrow your black bag. You trip that? <laughs> It. <laughs> Cheer up, okay? Yeah. Uh. Oh. Hi, Teddy. Please, babe, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about earlier on. Can we please meet up and talk? We can meet at the restaurant where we met. Okay. I'll see you.
So you're getting married to the man you cheated on me with. Is that it? If there's anything, I'm truly sorry. I'm really sorry for everything. I don't need you to be sorry. Because if you had the decency to break up with him, we wouldn't be having this conversation in the first place. I'm truly sorry. I know what I did to you was wrong. And trust me, I'm not proud of it. You stood by me through some really difficult past in our relationship. But our relationship isn't perfect. You didn't... You didn't take me seriously. We lack communication. We were having communication issues. And... You ignored me, and you knew nothing about boundaries. Come on. In my heart, our relationship ended years ago. In fact, I was planning to break up with you the night you proposed. Don't tell me about what I didn't do. Don't tell me about the places that I was lacking. What about what I did? What about the things that I got right? You, you can't say we weren't perfect. That we were perfect for each other. We are perfect for each other. I know you love me and I love you right back. Come on. So what do you expect me to do? Huh? I should be the best man on the wedding day? I should wear a suit and spray money and be dancing? Is that what you're, is that what you're trying to tell me? You have to break up with him. I won't. Oh, you will. No. <laughs> he can't make you happy. I mean, you can't possibly marry that guy. He can't make you happy. He cannot make you happy as I can. Watch me. And I dare you to marry him. I would wreak havoc on the both of you. I would bring down the rot of hell on the both of you. What do you mean by that? You know exactly what I mean. I'm going to marry him. And not even you can stop me. Oh, I can. Okay. You're not going to leave him, right? And you're not going to break up with him either. What did you tell him about your son? Huh? Oh, I see you didn't. Or did you tell him who the father of your son is? You see, Ifoma, I know you like the back of my hand. I've known you a little bit more than you know yourself. For five years. And I will use what I know to destroy you. Best of luck on your wedding. Over. 
What do you mean it's over? <sighs> Is this a joke? Are you joking? Wait. <laughs> For real? Ah, babe, come on now. Ah, it's because of that last time. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry, alright? It won't happen again. I'm serious. I'm not joking. It's over. It's not working. What do you mean you're serious, babe? We're supposed to be getting married in a few weeks. <laughs> huh? You remember when you asked me if I love you? And I didn't have anything to say. Well, that's because I realized I don't love you. And that's why I couldn't say anything. What are you saying? You told me yourself that you love me. You said it. Okay, you love me. It's simple. Why are you doing What is this? I'm sorry. Alright, baby, stop. Alright, stop, stop, stop. This thing is getting too serious. I don't... I'm not feeling it anymore, alright? Just stop. Alright, stop. Alright, stop, stop, stop. Okay, you cannot leave me. Alright, stop. You're going to give me a heart attack right now. Like, just stop. Can you stop it? No, stop. Can you stop it? No, stop. Keep what? Yeah, keep okay, baby, this it. is a joke. Stop. Alright. Right. Embarrass yourself. Just calm down. No. What are you saying? What? Wait, hey, hey, hey. Hey. Look, okay, you come here. Oh, no, stop. Don't move the Can you just stop? Can you just. Okay, okay. I'm up. Okay, okay. What is it? Okay, what is it? What did I do? Why is it over? Why? Why? What's your reason? I don't have any reason. I don't no. have any particular reason. Nothing. You can't give me that. You can tell me you're cutting an engagement off just like that for no reason. What's your reason? Fine. Since you're so desperate for a reason. You're not my kind of guy. Yes, I don't like your sense of dressing. Like, what is this? Polo, jeans, and then... What's this? You know what? I don't like your fashion sense, if it makes sense, because it doesn't make sense to me. All of this, not me. So if you want to be with somebody like me, you have to level up. Okay? Bye. A ruckus here, Teddy. She's clearly not around. I need to talk to her, okay? I know she's here. I could see her car back outside. What if she doesn't want to talk to you? I don't. Stop making me think, okay? Just go home. I just need to talk to her. I just need to understand what's going this on. This is not the right time to talk to her. Let her settle. Let her calm down or something. You can talk to her some other time. Alright? Stop making a scene. Just go home, okay? This is not the right time. Don't worry, I'll talk to her for you, okay? I'll talk to her. Let's go. Ten, go. Um, 
iffy. What is wrong with you? This is the seventh time you're coming home drunk. Are you trying to kill yourself? You know what? Get up. Get up. Hey, hey. Hey, no, get up. No, no, just leave me, okay? I don't need your help. I don't. All right. Hey, give it to me. Leave give me. It. Leave me. So you want to drink yourself to death because of a woman? Yeah. Okay. What's the point living with her? Right. She said I cannot dress. I don't know how to dress. I lack fashion sense and that's the reason she's leaving me because she likes men. Like you. I'll just leave this on. You know, in case she comes back, maybe she sees me and that you probably want to come back, you know. Like she doesn't want me. She wants you, stupid. I'm the reason for your breakup. What? Oh, man. What? Okay. What are you saying? I, I know a secret of hers. And I used it against her. Of course, well, what else would you have me do? You're constantly flaunting the relationship in my face, trying to make me know how happy you were and how, and how messed up I was because I didn't have anyone. Aisha wanted you to. Come on. Do you know how that made me feel? But look, I, I didn't do all of that to see you like this. The, the goal is not to see a brother like me, broken, sad, drunk, in tears. I might have spent so many years with her, or a few years or whatever it is. But you are the one who won her heart. She loves you, and you love her right back. Go for your woman, bro. It's not even about who's winning or who's losing. It has nothing to do with me. All right? So clean yourself up and go fix this. I told you guys apart by making her feel guilty. So go reassure her that she's not guilty. Okay, brothers. Thank you. 
Come on, get up, get up. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's fine. Get up. Get up. Get up. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go watch this. I'm coming. What do you want, Teddy? Look, I, I don't want you. to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to you. Can you just leave? No, but I know how... I, I, I know about your son's father and how his mom died. What? Ethan told me, and it's not your fault, the whole accident, okay? You didn't kill her, her husband did. All right, it was okay for you to hesitate and want to be selfish, okay? That's what we do as humans, that's what we do. All right, look, you already did the best you could, raising the woman's son. You didn't kill her, you saved her. You don't think I'm a bad person for that? How can I think you're a bad person? I love you. I love you just like that. And you want to marry me? Oh, yes, I do. I knew you never really left me. I love you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything I said to you. I love how I am around you. I love how you make me feel. I, I, I love everything about you. I love your eyes, your nose, your lips. My fashion. I love your fashion. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't know what came over me. I was just saying nonsense. Okay. I'm so sorry. I love you. <laughs> We both started on the same chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember very well. We were two frustrated people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, your guys stood you up. I just came off a three year relationship. It was crazy, you know? Yeah. Mad. We're just looking for some reason to be happy. Mm -hmm. God. You know, little did I know that that day I have found my soulmate. Yeah. You know I love you, right? Yeah, and I love you too. You know I love you too. Yeah. But I just want to keep you forever. Aww. Will you marry me? <laughs> Come on. Come on, babe. Yes. I knew you were. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. What is it? You need to go down on your knees before I will accept. Why? Which one is why, babe? Why don't you want to go? No, go down. I pop the question again. Ah, look, we are destined to be together. So regardless, you should take this. Okay, I'm wasting time. <laughs> I'm not wasting time. Just take this. Thing. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not taking it again. Hey, you don't love me. I, I, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, mad man. I'm going to take this one. It is copper. <laughs> 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 